Hi everyone, my name is Ike, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add a new user in Liferay DXP 7.2. Doing this is very straightforward, there's just really one thing we need to make sure is happening, and that's that we're signed in as our admin user. For me, that's Josiah Copeland, so I'm already signed in. And since I am, I do have access to the menu up here. I'll click into that and head on over to our control panel. And in the users dropdown, we'll navigate to users and organizations. I only have one user currently, and that's the admin that I'm using right now, Josiah Copeland. Let's go right over here to the blue plus to add user. And now we're brought to this form where we can fill out some information. The person I'm going to be adding is Jason Murray. And for a screen name, we're just going to go with j.murray. And his email address will be jason.murray at livingston.com. We're just going to go ahead and fill out what's necessary right now. And then when we're all done, we can scroll on down to the bottom and click Save. And now we're brought to this section called Edit User Jason Murray. And here we can define what Jason has access to, what he's a member of, and what he can and cannot do. Right off the bat, what we should do is go ahead and create a password for Jason. I'm going to make the default password for him test1, but he will be prompted to edit and change this later on. And we'll save that. And that has now been updated. We're going to give him membership to the only site I currently have up, which is the Livingston Hotels and Resorts. So as you can see here, we can go over to the select button and there's my lonely site. You can see it's been added to the list. I can delete it if I've made a mistake and I'll go ahead and hit save. And again, we have that success message. What I can do now is log out of my admin user, Josiah Copeland, and I can now return as Jason. I have that new password I just set, some terms of use that I haven't quite set up yet. I'll agree. We have that default password still attached to Jason's account. We're going to give him the opportunity to change that. It will not let me do test one again, so I'm going to go ahead and just do test two. And moving on, my father's middle name uh, is also test two as Jason's father. And there we have it. As you can see, I'm just a regular user. Uh, I do not have the menu option available. What's nice is we can go back to that edit menu and change some of the preferences on Jason's account. So I'll sign out as Jason. And I will now sign in as Josiah Copeland. And I'm back. I have my menu and my control panel access. I'll jump back over into users. And in that list, we now see Jason Murray. We'll click on the three dots. I will click into edit this time. And we see there is that edit user Jason Murray section that we are back at. I'm going to go ahead and update his role. We have regular roles. And I'm just going to go ahead and choose administrator for now. And clicking save. None of this will be updated if we just exit out. And we have our success message. So now since I'm Josiah Copeland, I will now switch back. And sign into Jason Murray one last time. And now this time we now have our menu and we have access to the control panel. You now know how to add a new user to Liferay DXP as well as tweak some of that user's abilities. Looking for more information on this topic or others? Check out our links in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.